El Nav is engaged as we navigate laterally straight to this point and approximately two nautical miles prior to your initial approach fix, we are now going to turn to the MCP and we're going to roll down the MDA. We're going to set MDA altitude. Now, the MDA on this particular approach, localizer glide slope out of service, right, happens to be 540 plus we're going to add 50 feet to the MDA. Remember, MDA stands for not only minimum descent altitude, but also must do arithmetic. Okay, so you got to add 50 feet to this. So 540 plus 50, it's going to bring you to 590 and the MCP, of course, cannot set 590, so we will round to 600 feet. The aircraft will arrive here at ZTAL, and upon doing so, the legs page will sequence and it will look to the next point. It'll say, okay, well, I've made it to ZTAL at 2,000 feet. Where do I go next? And the next point is going to be EBI at 1,500 feet. Now, the aircraft will now say, before I descend to 1,500 feet, let me check the MCP. Because remember, the MCP takes priority over the legs page. So the MCP will now reflect 600. The aircraft will then determine, well, my current altitude is 2,000. This is what my altimeter reads. The legs page shows that I should now descend to 1,500 feet. The MCP says 600 feet. Both 1,500 and 600 are lower than my actual altitude. So I will descend and I will comply with the higher of the two. Now the higher of the two happens to, of course, be EBI at 1,500. The aircraft will descend and upon reaching EBI, at 1,500 feet, it will repeat the same procedure yet again. Now, you heard that right, 300 feet below the missed approach altitude, we're gonna overlay the maneuver section of the QRH right here on the screen so you can see where this is illustrated within the manual. And once more, let's make sense of this setting of the missed approach altitude 300 feet below the missed approach altitude. See, let's say your missed approach altitude happens to be 4,000 feet, which happens to be the case here in Kennedy, runway four right. 4,000 foot missed approach altitude, 300 feet below that, 3,700 feet, and you also notice the illustration shows inside the final approach fix. So once we're inside this final approach fix, on a descending path, we happen to be 300 feet, at least 300 feet below the missed approach altitude, this happens to be the case, now is when you're going to set the missed approach altitude.